we're going to be doing some cooking in the kitchen with me. One of our first requests was from uh, the Flying Fish Cafe potato wrapped red snapper with creamy leek fondue and red wine reduction. These are just a few of the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need a white onion, carrots, leeks, and garlic. All right, everybody grab your monkey and peel your carrots. Take your garlic. You're gonna want about half of that and um, chop it up, mince it up as much as you can. You'll need enough to at least kill two vampires. We wanna get things steamy in here, so turn up the heat on your pan. Make sure your pan is hot and your oil is cold. So you have the cool oil going into the pot and then you're gonna add all your ingredients so that everything gets nice and sizzly. Stir that around. Make sure that all of the parts don't sit too long in the hot pan. You don't want the garlic to burn. Now you wanna grab one bottle of wine and drink it. Or you can put the entire bottle of red wine into the pot. Your choice. But what'll end up happening is everything will get nice and bubbly. Grab your chicken stock. You'll need 32 ounces or four cups. Add all of that into your pot. Grab your beef stock. You'll need two cups of beef stock. Apparently cows aren't as important as chickens. You'll add that into your pot as well, completely ruining the wine you used. You're gonna add a half a cup of regular water. Give that a nice little stir. You're gonna turn your heat down to just keep the simmer and through movie magic, two hours later, stirring a couple times in between, you're all done. Take some cheesecloth, insert it into your strainer. One more stir around and dump all of the goodness into the strainer. The cheesecloth is gonna catch all of those nice big chunky bits. Now that it's drained a bit, you wanna make sure you get all the juice out. So you need to squeeze it, tweak it a little, slap it around, make sure everything drips into that bowl. Take everything in that bowl, dump it right back into the pot. Yes, folks, there's more. 30 more minutes after you get the heat back up and you just let it go. Movie magic again. Here comes the butter. And I'm just gonna sit here and we're gonna turn a bit. <laughs> Butter. So after churning the cream, we actually have real butter. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have made butter. Or you could just use this. Grab your frying pan, turn the heat up, and add your butter. We're going to melt that down until it's nice and sizzly. Spread it around the pan. Take your leeks, they're a little bit like celery slash onion. Dump it into your butter, not quite that violently. Stir it around till they get nice and tender. You're gonna get cream. You need a whole cup of cream, the same cream that we use to make the butter. It's heavy whipping cream. Put that in the pan with the leeks and the butter. One more thing that you're gonna need, thyme. I just happen to have fresh thyme in my kitchen, so we're gonna use that. We have plenty of thyme. We're gonna spice it up a bit more with some salt and grind right into the pan pepper. Stir that around. You wanna bring it to a simmer, reduce it down till it's nice and bubbly. Get all the moisture out of there. 
as you pull your spatula across, you're gonna start to see parts of the pan. It'll, you can see that it's getting thick that way. That's when you know you're just about ready. Almost ready to move on to the next step, which is actually preparing the snapper. Now that we're done with our sauces, we're gonna put them in smaller bowl just so it's easier to handle and take them off of the heat. Definitely don't want any of this yumminess to burn. Now, like a Sicilian message, we are unwrapping our fish. This is a red snapper that's already been filleted and skinned. However, we're gonna check just to make sure all the bones, oh, see here's a bone, and scales have been removed so that nobody chokes on these bones. They're kind of tiny and see-through, but they're very coarse, so you'll be able to feel them right away. Place them here on the cutting board and we'll portion them out. Before we get started with that, we do need to get these potatoes taken care of, because of course, these potatoes somehow have to wrap around this fish. These potatoes have to be somehow made into rectangles. So cutting each side and the tips will give you a nice rectangle shape and you don't even have to get your monkey out. After you have your rectangle of potato, you wanna use a mandolin. You can use a long one or one of the tiny ones. This one I know does a really nice shaved potato. Nice and see-through. If it's not see-through, it won't go around the fish. If it's too thick, it won't wrap. So that's gonna be a problem when you go to fry them later. After you get them nice and shaved, dump them in some water, not with anything in it, just water, so that they don't oxidize in, while you wait to wrap your fish. Portion out your fish. You're going to make a nice little bed with your shaved potato. As you lie them down, make sure you overlap each one right side by side. Now you can do this on top of regular saran wrap, or you can do it on top of a Ziploc bag, as long as you have something to be able to help you roll. Any of those are fine. With this fish, the size of it, you'll need probably about three rows to be able to cover it all the way around. After you're done making the rows, put some potato starch over top of your bed. That'll make it nice and sticky in one piece to lay your fish down. Place your fish right in the middle of your potato wrap. Grab some salt, season the fish, just a sprinkle, and you get to grind again. <laughs> Grab the one side of your saran or Ziploc bag, either way, and pat it down on the top of the fish. Do the same thing on the other side so that all of them overlap in the middle. Now you can wrap them all together and just leave it on the side. Just make sure if you're gonna wait to cook it to keep it covered so the potatoes don't oxidize on the outside. Okay, we have our stations ready to go. We're gonna get ready to fry this. And we have a giant saucepan, oil, and we have these things ready to go to start heating them up uh, because they cooled off now that we started everything else and now you're gonna get everything in the pan starting to go. It's only gonna take about maybe 15 minutes, just about. So you've got about 15 minutes keeping these things on low. You should be fine. Everything will be ready to go, right to go on the plate. After we're done frying the fish, we're gonna take the fish out and put it on those paper towels. You wanna have them ready, otherwise you're gonna have a big old mess. Don't want it to get too brown. Got a couple more minutes to go. Put this over. Look how pretty! Ta-da! At least the fish part's done. Now we get to take all of our sauces. You know, take the creamy leeks first. Put the fish right on top. Smush it down in there. Take the red wine reduction that you have babysat all day long, drizzle it along the outside. Yes, I swear it's worth it. So now we have 
our potato wrapped red snapper on top of a bed of fondue creamy leeks and a red wine reduction. So you're gonna try it? Mm-hmm. Sounds this crispy. crispy. Hey, that's bad. It's bad. It's gonna be fine, buddy. Ready? You want the first bite, Dom? Okay. Okay, bye. Because it was mostly the first one down here. What do you think? Mm. 